This question for you is, what is a regular day for you? Like, what do you eat on a daily basis? I honestly eat like twice a day. The fact that you're not hungry and the fact that you just told me that those are the items that you're eating and you felt full throughout the day, it tells me that. That makes sense. I do that with everything. Like, that makes sense. If I have to go to the store, oh no, I have to. I don't want to overexert you too much. Let's have your heart rate come down. All right, Ange, welcome back. For those of you who haven't seen Ange or know who Ange is, we're going to insert a clip of our, her journey. And Angel is back now. Today, we're going to just do a simple workout out here in the field. And we're going to also see where Angel is as far as her mental state, her insight. So she can give you clarification of where she's um, at mentally at this point. Most of the time when people embark on a health endeavor, about 70 to 80% of people fail. And it's okay. It's okay for you to start over because then at that point, you start to learn more about yourself. You learn from your mistakes and you pick back up from where you left off. Don't be so hard on yourself. Give yourself some grace. So right now we're here with Ainge and she is back. And Hi. Ray. <laughs> So some of my struggles have been. Hey guys, I want to quickly mention our matcha and turmeric detox. It's slowly becoming one of our top best sellers. It's a mixture of matcha, turmeric, and black pepper. Each gram is measured out perfectly so that you can get your adequate amount of matcha to help with the fat burning process, your antioxidants. The black pepper helps to activate both the turmeric and the matcha. So you're gonna make sure that you're getting the adequate amount that you need throughout the day. And it's great for naturally increasing your energy. This is one of my go-to. Sometimes people tend to look for like an abrasive caffeine, coffee. As soon as you're taking coffee, you feel worked up. You feel the energized from the coffee. Matcha is very slow releasing. It'll help to increase your energy. You're not gonna get that caffeine spike that you tend to look for. Plus it's a natural flat burner to help with burning, to aid in burning fat as well. Of course we know you gotta incorporate your diet and exercising, but this definitely adds the cherry on top to any workout routine or regimen that you got going on. You don't have to take my word for it. Do your own research, study, and look into it yourself. And without further ado, let's get back to our video. So some of my struggles have been being consistent and learning to trust myself and also like not wanting instant gratification. I feel like that's a big thing, especially with social media, not social media, but like the internet, it makes you want things like that. And that's not practical. Mm. What you said was so powerful because that's marketing in itself. You've just complete, you just graduated college. You know what I mean? <laughs> and with all the knowledge that you've obtained, it didn't take you, you didn't learn instantly. It was a process. It went through a process of you learning yourself. It went through a process of you correcting, you know, habits in order for you to achieve a goal. And that's how college is marketed. It's not marketed like you're going to instantly become this amazing, rich person. It's just like it's a process. And you know, it's going to take you four years for you to achieve that. You have to learn your habits. You have to learn how to correct yourself when you're doing things wrong. And sometimes it's not just you as a community. The other day I was watching this one of those YouTube therapy videos and it was talking about different trauma responses for different things and one of them that the therapist mentioned was the waiting game and I was like oh my god I do that with everything okay so you gotta elaborate what's the waiting game it's like oh I'll do this but I have to do this before I do that mm. and if I don't do that thing before I do that I don't want to do the thing that I wanted to do that makes sense I do that with everything like, that makes sense if I have to go to the store oh no I have to check this on my phone first then take a shower and if I get messed up in between that process I'm not going to the store okay like that makes a lot so of sense that was very eye-opening to me to realize that I have been playing the waiting game for like years and years and years come back down go up come in that and the third set what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the weights you're gonna walk up with the weights okay okay you know what this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add one eight weight each come down come on Let's go. Because you're heavier, you don't want to do anything explosive. Just walking would be super beneficial for you. The reason why you don't want to do anything explosive now because you're heavier, the weight is going to wreak havoc on your joints. Take a set breath for the weights now. I don't want to overexert you too much. Let's have your heart rate come down. Just walk around for a second. How do you feel? Forget about the instant gratification. 
Right now, you just need something that you can adhere to, something that's realistic to you that will help you to stay consistent. We, this is a track that we first started in. And Ralph was like, all right, we're gonna make it a goal to get our mile down to eight minutes. I didn't even think about fitness at that point. It was just more so like, all right, I get my mile down to eight minutes, but throughout that process, I started to lose weight, I started to tone up, things like endurance started to increase. But I think these type of things is what makes it a little bit easier. But for you, it's like, what is gonna help to motivate you? Like, for example, like one of the things that you wanted to really work on, maybe it's just, all right, I wanna work on, instead of uh, being able to walk around two laps, my goal is to walk around three laps or four laps without getting tired, you know what I mean? Like if I can get through this stage, then maybe, you know, if I can push myself, all right, let me see. All right, I did four laps, let me see if I could jog now. Can I jog one lap around? Let me work myself up to it. And then see, oh, I'm getting better at this. I'm getting stronger, you know what I mean? Like, then you start to surprise yourself like, oh, wait a minute, this is not as hard as I thought it would be. A lot of times we be in our own mental space, we be in our own head. And um, I don't like to bring the spiritual aspect of it, but I have to in this moment. The devil is very cunning and at times you'll believe the lies that's being told to you, you know. The enemy will say things, make you feel like you're not capable of it because there's something special about you. And if you start to believe how special you are, it completely diminishes his plan. We're about to do some bodyweight squats. We want to get you to a point where you can do at least 50 body squats easily before you add external weight. But I'm also add this part, listen to your body. If you feel like you're doing the squats and you feel like you could add a little bit more, like the 15 pound weights, that won't harm you either. So just squatting, you're just gonna shift your hips back. Just tap and then come back up. Use your legs, your core, everything is gonna be engaged. So you're gonna start off, I'm gonna let you do 15 first and you'll tell me how you feel after that. And I wanna challenge you a little bit to do 15 with the one dumbbell. If it's too much, we could take it away. You could just do that next set. I'll walk you through it, I'm saying a lot. All right, come on, let's just do 15 squats first. Okay. Just shift your hips back and just sit down. Well, okay, one, shift your hips back. I, I, I got you. You here? Shift your hips back like a hip hinge, come down, and then come back up. Actually, I don't think I can do it. You can? Your knee hurts? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna fit, yeah, I was about to say that, okay. All right, so let's bring your feet placement a little bit wider. If your knee is hurting, to point, point your toes outwards. Um, spread them out a little bit further. Okay, now shift your hips back. And there you go. How does that feel? Does it yeah, feel better? Okay, sense. there we go. One, go ahead. Two, nice. Three, come on. Four, five. Try not to lock your knees. Six, seven, eight. Nine, breathe. 10, inhale, exhale. 11, come on. 12, 13, 14, one more. 15, all right, walk it out. How do you feel? Fine. Okay, good. You wanna add the 15 pound dumbbell? Sure. This thing feels weird in my hands. It, it feels so heavy. This way, elbows down, and the same thing. Legs spread wider, you're gonna do a sumo squat. So bring it out wider, 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 wider. That's good. All right, now you're gonna shift your hips back. Squat, yes, one. Two, breathe. Three, exhale at the top. Four, yes, inhale at the bottom. Five, six, seven, don't lock your knees. Eight, nine, don't lock your knees. 10, you got it. 11, 12, 13. This question for you is, what is a regular day for you? Like, what do you eat on a daily basis? I honestly eat like twice a day. Yesterday I had avocado on bread and then I had a hot dog and some popsicles. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna be realistic with you. You're not having enough, it doesn't have enough protein or nutrition to keep you satiated. And it depends on your activity level. The fact that you're not hungry and the fact that you just told me that those are the items that you're eating and you felt full throughout the day, it tells me that the metabolism has slowed down. And that means that your activity levels have slowed down to meet where your metabolism is. 
So the challenging part when this happens is, what you had the avocado toast was really good. But we gotta get your metabolism to get back to where it needs to be. When you broke down your breakfast to me, it pretty much tells me you like the convenience. That's why you're going to process. And this is why we tend to go through process to process food. The convenience of just taking the avocado and spread it. That tells me you don't like to waste your time in the kitchen. The same thing with the hot dog. You put the hot dog in the microwave, you take it, the bread is there, boom, I'm eating it. No time in the kitchen. Then later on, your body was craving nutrition, but you're like, ah, I'm craving for something sweet. But right now, the only convenient sweet thing is the popsicle. You it see? Was hot. See, that's what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's hot. So like boom, 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 convenience, convenience, convenience. That's what that's telling me. My job is to recondition you. Convenience isn't always the best choice because that is not gonna get you to where you wanna be health-wise. You know what I mean? That convenience is costing your health, it's costing your mental health, your physical health, all of it, emotional health, it's causing it all. Endocrine system, you know this. So my job is to just get you back to where you need to be mentally, get you to refocus and just say, ah, let me just whip up these eggs real quick. Let me just whip up this sandwich real quick. Let me prep real quick. Because we tend to invest in our friends, we tend to invest in our jobs. If anybody needs you to be there for them in that moment, you're there. I know you are, just like you were today. Like I called you up like Angel last minute. You was like, boom, I'm there. That convenience and that urgency that you gave to me, I need the same for you to do to for yourself, you know? Like, I, I'm gonna carve out time to make these little eggs real quick because I'm important. I matter. My body is a temple. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't, what? This thing is convenient, but it's not giving me what I need. Like, I'm Angel, you know what I mean? I'm angel, I need to I'm be feeding. <laughs> exactly, you hear me? Like I need to be feeding angel the best because I know I am the best. And that's just what that's gonna come from.